Hey folks, today we're meeting up with the great Kyle Everson of Martina McBride, and he's been playing with her for the past few years. So it's our pleasure to uh, sit down and have a moment to go through Kyle's rig and see what Kyle's playing, and uh, that'll include a little Walter Amp. So we're uh, happy to have Kyle aboard today. Happy to be uh, here. Kyle, Good thanks for here. having us out. Uh, so yeah, we just kind of want to go through and talk about your setup, your stage rig, and, and what you use and why you use it. All right. And, uh, and kind of, so just what's your role in the band? Let's start with that. What well, all are you playing? I'm one of the utility players in the band. Um, mostly play pedal steel, but also play electric guitar and lap steel, so, and mandolin. So, uh, the little Walter amp goes really good with all, all of those instruments, really. Um, Perfect. Yeah, we're able to uh, get, get a good amount of, um, you know, overdrive from the amp itself without using too many pedals. Right. So the, the simple, uh, shorter yeah, circuit. So if I, if I look at your board here, I don't really see a quote-unquote overdrive right. pedal, right? right? So you're getting all the natural yeah. breakup from the amp itself. Right. So, the the so circuit is so clean that you don't really have a lot of things getting in the way. So you're able to kind of really drive the amp and get a good nice Absolutely. Nice so, overdrive. And that's Phil's philosophy. Exactly. You know, let the amp do the work. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, uh, we'll come in and get a, a – you want to walk us through kind of your board setup? Yeah, sure. and So so I do, I do use two amps. Uh, the first one was for the pedal steel. It's really simple, just a delay and reverb pedal that you know goes in and out uh, different models. But right now it's a Boss, mm -hmm. and uh, it's that's usually a, a really clean uh, sound. Uh, but then when you come over to the lap steel and pedal and uh, excuse me, electric guitar, mm -hmm. uh, I try to get a lot out of the amp, and uh, just so that it has a lot of right hand attack and tech, you know. And then when I need a little extra juice, it's a little bit of an RC booster, and. Uh, yeah. Just kind of get the EQ and just a tad bit more gain, but not a lot, and uh, that it gives me the, the tone I'm looking for. So excellent. Not a not a lot of need for a bunch of overdrive pedals for me. Yeah. <laughs> well, and that's that's the beauty, you know. And, yeah. uh, one of the things I've always enjoyed about Phil's amps is they're so responsive. Yes. You can dig into them, and you know, and and even when I was playing with Greg Martin, you know, Greg will roll that volume back yeah. to clean up, and then pull his volume back open to get that break up. So, Absolutely. So that's awesome. And uh, I'm, I'm actually using the uh, the 50 watt, okay. uh, and it's one of the I've had mine for about five years. It's about 2012, okay. and uh, I've got the Optal yes, preamps, yeah. and those actually Optal even series. even more yeah. so than some of the others have a lot of just. Yeah. Right. A lot of attack that you can control they the do. way you play. You know? yeah, I have to agree, the, the Octal series are kind of what put him on the scene. And yeah. Man, there's just something special about the Octal they series, are. for yeah. sure. Uh, and then, let's see, you're yeah. running through, uh, what, a couple of delays there? Or you got a Brigadier from Strymon? Yep, got a Strymon Brigadier here. Yep. It's good for this, you know, yes. having a tap. I like to okay. like to try and get those out. Uh, when you're playing rhythm parts in the back, it's nice to have a little timed out delay for that. But right. For a lot of the, a lot of the stuff, here. I kind of keep it out. I'm, my, yeah. my role in in that realm is a little more subdued, so I try to kind of keep it more clean. Yeah. But it's there when you need it. Yeah, well, so, excellent. Yeah. excellent. <laughs> and then uh, back here, if we look at your yeah. uh, other setup here, uh, you know, one of the things I was kind of surprised is uh, we're, we're kind of in a country situation, yeah. <laughs> but we're, we're rocking an SG, man. Yeah, That's yeah, cool. so, uh, yeah, this is a, a 61 reissue SG. Awesome. Um, and it's not looking like a reissue very much these days because it's been out on the road mm -hmm. and, uh, Probably hasn't even been home in about five years, <laughs> maybe longer. But uh, right. yeah, it's it for country music. I find that if it's a country song, I'm playing steel. But if it's more yeah. of a pop song, I may play guitar. So right. humbuckers are something that I really look for. Okay. Uh, for my role. Yeah. So well, that's, that's why awesome. that's why I chose that over maybe a Telecaster because you know yeah. I'm not really a chicken picker. Right. Uh, right. I do that on the steel. Right there. Yeah. <laughs> so, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, let's just run through the yeah. other ones here. What do you got sure. there? A lap steel? Uh, this is an old national, I believe it's a Chicagoan. Mm -hmm. um, a friend of mine uh, from back in Georgia uh, found this in their parents' attic and didn't even awesome. know that he played. It's from 1950. <laughs> and uh, they gave it to me with an amplifier. And, you know, it's, it's uh, I, I got a friend of mine, Lance Ackerman from mm -hmm. Ackerman Guitars in Nashville. Mm -hmm. he, he put it together for me and got it working again. And uh, I love it. Yeah, the and, I, and, I took the, and I took the knobs off so that I didn't actually yeah, really bump them. So when you're on, you're on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so the it's the origi pickup? original pickup. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is a uh, it's from Collings. They actually uh, were nice enough to get me one of these a few years ago. And excellent. Um, yeah, and he just passed. He did just pass. I yeah. was very sad to hear that because yeah. they were they were and are such a great company and, and make such. I mean, who makes a great 
acoustic guitar like they do yeah. and also a great mandolin. I mean, right. it's just, and electric guitars too. I mean, they're just yeah. all around, mm -hmm. you know, great instruments. So. Yeah, he's a world-class luthier, yeah. for sure. So this so. this has played a big role on uh, on this gig, mm -hmm. for sure. And uh, I'm, like I said, yeah. just happy to have it out here. Uh, we look forward to hearing it today, Yeah, for absolutely. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Well, so. excellent. Well, let's uh, move up to the sure. uh, sort of the star of the show. Star here. of the show, yeah. Yeah, the steel. <laughs> yeah. And you kind of, let's see, what are... Walk us through kind of how you came on the uh, Franklin here. And well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, those those that are familiar with Little Walter are probably mm -hmm. familiar with Paul Franklin. Yeah. Is, uh, Paul's a great friend of ours, that's for he sure. He is. Uh, Endorser. And, and I've gotten to gotten to know him and his, his folks. His dad builds mm -hmm. these guitars. Absolutely. And I do believe he's he's done building at this point. But mm -hmm. um, this one's from 1985. Uh, I bought it from, from the widow of a, a man that had passed, and he had never played it. Really? So every every scratch and every dust mark is mine. Years. And uh, pa but Paul's dad, Paul Paul Sr., yeah. added two pedals and a couple of knee levers. So it's it's got all the things I need. All to, the bells and whistles. Yeah, yeah, all the things I need out here, and it's well, just thanks. a great thing. Good stuff. Yeah, that's thanks. good stuff. Uh, so, so what? Uh, I know we talked about the little Walter Fifty yeah. and the Octal. Uh, what? How did you first find out about Phil and the Walter, and what brought you into the family? Well, I I'd, I'd heard guys around town from uh, you know Brent Mason and Paul mm -hmm. Franklin were some of the first guys that were using them, and um, I was intrigued because Paul had not used a very different rig for many years, at least that, that I knew about from, right. from word of mouth. Right. And so I was really interested in it and uh, started coming to some of the little, uh, like, play dates, I guess is what you can call them. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Just testing out the amps and stuff. Sure. And, and so uh, I'm a union member, so I went over to the, the union hall one day and, mm -hmm. and had a little meeting with him. I was like, I, I really like it. Yeah. And uh, it took a year or two before I actually made a purchase, but uh, Travis Toy, actually, <laughs> um, we were, we were play, play, headlining the Ryman Auditorium. And, okay. Um, Travis pulled up in the back alley of the Ryman Auditorium and gave me my amp. I took it on <laughs> right on stage and uh, installed the speakers in the cabinet, put it together, it worked, everything was great. And when the artist found out, it was not Martina, it was someone else. Right. When the artist found out afterward, he said, if you ever do that again, you're gone. <laughs> <laughs> I said, well, it sounded great, he said, it sounded great, but never do that again. Yeah. Uh, it's been great to be here with you today. It's been great having you guys. I'm glad to be and in your home state. <laughs> yes, yes, this is our home state, so we are glad to be here with you. And uh, man, uh, how about taking us out with a little sure. number? Well, this is Eric Self with Little Walter Two Bams. Uh, happy to be here with Kyle today. I appreciate him and the Martina crew for the hospitality. And if you ever get a chance to go see a Martina live show, please uh, go do it. You won't regret it. It's a fantastic time with some great music. And a lot of that is responsible to this man right here. Brother, thank you so much thank for having you. us out. Thanks. And uh, we wish you the best. Thank you. Thank you.